So the RADOF framework is a planning framework that helps teachers uh, sequence their lessons and sequence their planning, whether it's a topic, a lesson or a module, and it helps them think about prior misconceptions or preconceptions and also questions they can ask, as well as how they can link their current learning to future learning when they're planning for the students that they have in front of them. I went about using the RADOF framework by thinking about how I could model it for my department. So I planned lessons using the framework, I then tried them, I then tweaked the framework a little bit and added extra key questions because I noticed that was missing and then I tested it out on my own students and evaluated the outcome and I found that students were learning more because I was sequencing better and I was planning better effectively. I have used the RADAR framework to support other teachers because as it's laid out quite nicely, if a teacher is struggling in, in an aspect of their planning, we could sit there and plan the sequence together and that will help them rethink their planning and focus their planning a bit better as opposed to giving general feedback. So the headings are very, very clear what each aspect of the lesson or topic relates to and that's really helpful when you're supporting teachers. Within our department, firstly we are rolling out the framework with our trainees and NQTs um, just because they need more guidance because they are new to the profession so we want them to be thinking about certain parts of the lesson very specific to science. After that we are then thinking about rolling out to the whole department so that subject experts meet with non-specialists, plan the sequence or, of lessons or the mapping of a module and that gives the non-expert enough knowledge and enough links and enough further reading to do before they can deliver a module which will prepare them better. So um, the radar frameworks really kind of helped me compartmentalise um, all my planning for lessons and also topics as a whole. Um, it's kind of got me to look at possible misconceptions that the students might encounter along the way and how we could plan to address these. And then um, also more onto the assessment side of things to see that they've actually um, gained that knowledge. Um, so a specific example I can think of where I've used um, the radar framework and it's helped out is in uh, teaching quantitative chemistry to year 10 students. We've been doing uh, conservation of mass and um, different mole calculations and calculating MR. Um, we've been able to kind of plan for that and see that they're going to require a lot of modelling during those lessons so we set out a set of rules that they can use for those calculations, go through some examples and then get them to do them themselves. Um, so a specific aspect of the radar framework that I found very useful is the part where we link that lesson to future lessons or topics that the students might encounter. Um, as a PGCE student I'm often thinking uh, of, a, of planning a lesson just as a solo lesson and not really where it links into the future um, curriculum but this uh, aspect's got me to really kind of think where in the future they'll use this information and uh, apply it in the future.